Hey, in this episode of Drawing Through Luke, I'm going to do two things. First, I'm going to show you that I started drawing an outline of the gospel. and I've got a color-coded outline that I want to show you. And then second, I'm going to show you how I use Scrivener to create the script for the comic book. So let's dive in. <music> This week, I actually did start some semblance of drawing where I um, went through and I took that outline from my Logos Bible software and I drew this overview outline of the entire book. So there are four parts to the Gospel of Luke. Part one is preparation, one, one through four. Part two, ministry in Galilee, 414 through 950. Jesus is in Galilee. And then the real breaking point, the turning point in the Gospel of Luke, is right here in 951, where it says he set his face to go to Jerusalem. And then from chapter 9, verse 51, through chapter 19, verse 27, this is really the quintessential Gospel according to Luke. This is where the bulk of the teaching uh, happens. And then in chapter 19, verse 28, to the end of the book, is the Passion Week, which is in all of the Gospels. But part three right here, this is what's really unique to the Gospel of Luke. And so I went through and I, I, wrote, I, I wrote these all out and then I color coded them. Yellow stands for um, locations. Um, blue stands for the mission of the disciples. There's two different. Green stands for uh, teaching. Jesus actually teaching the people. So we have uh, Luke's version of the Sermon on the Mount. It's actually the Sermon on the Level Place. And then orange stands for parables. And so the parables of Luke are really important. And most of them happen during this on the way section. So I got that done. Okay, the first thing that I did was I started a new document in Scrivener. And Scrivener is an amazing program. And what I did was I opened a new project from a template. So let me just show you the template that I used. There are, uh, it comes with a script writing template. And under script writing, there is actually a comic script template which is pretty amazing. So I'm gonna uh, actually open a new one with this template, just call it sample and create. So Anthony Johnston is the guy who created this, this template and it is really powerful. And let me just show you what it looks like. Here's a PDF that shows you, um, it will create page breaks automatically, panel breaks, it has a uh, panel descriptions, the character, and it just lays out the script in prescribed um, formats. So it, when you start a new document in Scrivener with this template, it automatically goes to page and then it just goes to the next page number. So you can redo the pages uh, any, any way you want and it doesn't actually number them until you go to export the file. It's really cool. So it automatically de defaults to page and panel and then when you hit return it asks you what you're doing and you're doing a panel description so it's like a uh, long shot of road whatever it is then you hit return hit return again and then it asks you what do you want to do next and so character so this will be like Mary and then it automatically knows that after you type the name Mary you want to go to the dialogue hello Gabriel Right, boom. And that's how you create a script like that. So this is the comic script template and I highly recommend that you use it if you're creating a graphic novel. Now, what I did was in my document, I had to modify that template a little bit because I am using an app on my iPad called Comic Draw. And it is an amazing app and I'm going to talk about Comic Draw in another video. But Comic Draw need, doesn't like to have a break between the character name and the dialogue. So what I did 
was I went into um, right up here to format script writing and then script settings and I changed things around a little bit and I took out that the character and so this is where you can edit the actual template the panel number panel description dialog and I made it so that there isn't a distinction between character and dialog so I made those changes and so now when I'm typing along you can see this is the script where I have a panel and my panel description is Luke is sitting at a writing table that's how the comic that's how the graphic novel is going to open up and then what comic draw wants is anytime you write cap which is short for caption with a colon whatever comes directly after it will automatically show up in a caption you can just drag into your page and so that's really cool and then the panel number panel description caption uh, and then here's what the dialogue looks like Gabriel you put a colon and then the actual dialogue right after it so this is what my script looks like now so the first thing that I did though is I, I formatted the pages so that the script will end up looking like this and then the cool one of the many 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 cool things about Scrivener is it has two different sections in it one is the part for the the actual document that you're working on so I'm just calling this part script and you can create multiple documents and the cool thing about Scrivener is that you can look at your document in three ways you can click right here which is called Scrivenering it where it puts all of your sub documents into one continuous document so you can scroll through the whole script it's very cool or you can click right here and each separate document is like an index card it's so cool and you can grab your index cards and you can move them around it's just like old school research paper you know where you would write something on an index card and you would put it up on your bulletin board and you can move it around so you're basically like storyboarding with words as you're building your script so cool or you can click this button and you can see it as uh, an outline if you want so what I did was I went into the second section of Scrivener which is called research and you can put all kinds of stuff in here you can put PDFs you can import websites to this you can put images all kinds of stuff because it's where you put all the research for the the document that you're working on in here and I took the outline that I had created in my Logos Bible software and I created an index card for each scene break so you can see right here it starts off the first scene is in the temple so I created this index card and I called it in the temple and then I, I chose an icon you can come down here and hit change icon and I chose this icon which is a locations it's a little map icon so I can know that this is a location indicator so this scene is in the temple and then I took you remember uh, in the last video I had divided the entire Gospel of Luke into narrative lectionary texts and non-narrative lectionary texts so I went and I copied and pasted from Lagos into my index card I put the text into the index card and this is non-narrative lectionary Luke 1 1 through 25 the births foretold and all of my non-narrative lectionary I labeled them with this icon of a red flag so I can so red flag means non-narrative lectionary and then there's the Nazareth there's the Judean town uh, where Elizabeth is and then we have December 20th this is a narrative lectionary text Luke 26 and I just went through you can see over here um, I went through every one of the, the, the entire gospel and I put them in their section so now like right here if I click on part 2 the ministry of Galilee and I click the bulletin board you can see these are all my index cards now I'll make them a little bit bigger so that you can see what the index card itself looks like so we go from Galilee to Nazareth and then this is I put the text right here in the index card itself and then 
what I was able to do is I can split my screen in half and over here I can actually hit alt command L and lock this window so that I will always see my index cards and then I'll come over to this window and I'll click on part two, Ministry in Galilee. And this is where I'm, I'm at right now. So I'm starting this and I have a, a new page, a new panel, and I'll come over here and go, okay, I am in, I'll make this bigger so you can see it. Make it just one across so you can see. So part two of the gospel starts off in Galilee. We're specifically in Nazareth. And I look at this and it says, Then Jesus, filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, returned to Galilee, and a report about him spread through all the surrounding country. He began to teach in their synagogues and was praised by everyone. When he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as was his custom. He stood up to read. So, um, this first panel, the panel description would be, Jesus is in the synagogue teaching, right? And then I'll come here and go, um, I want this to be the caption, and I'm putting the reference in there. So this is 14 through 30. And then, um, since this is an establishing shot, I'm probably going to have to have a caption that says, a synagogue in Nazareth and then the dialogue itself if I if I click here and go down to dialogue it'll in set it for me and then I'll put Jesus and then I'll come over here and I'll I'll copy what he reads the Spirit of the Lord is upon me boom 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 I'll copy that and then I'll just paste it right in here. And that's Jesus dialogue. And I'll put a little space between. And so that's what I'm doing right now is I'm just working through the whole gospel um, and creating an actual script. And this script, when I copy and paste it into my iPad app, it will automatically create the pages, the panels, and the word balloons for me. And I'll show you that next time. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Drawing Through Luke. I hope you will subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, and we'll see you next time.